Hi. Well, as we said at the top of the show, we have got the fabulous Cyril Leader, the president of the Ottawa Senators, here today to talk to us, well, about all sorts of amazing things that uh, the uh, foundation, well, not the foundation, the uh, senators are doing, as well as a very special bid that you've put out there into the world. And welcome to the show. Well, thanks for having me. Great to so be here. So let's try yeah. it because we just finished talking about uh, the Canada Summer Games, yes. Ottawa 2021. What is it all about? Yeah, that's a, it's a bid by the community. I happen to be one of the co-chairs along with Sue Holloway, but there's a big team of people, over 100 people, been working on this for many months. And yesterday, on January 12th, was finally our coming out party, be able to say, hey, we're doing this great bid yeah. on behalf of the city, and wouldn't it be great to have the Canada Summer Games here in 2021? It's the biggest multi-sport event in this country. And uh, the right kind of perspective is it'd be like hosting a World Junior Hockey Championship yeah. one week and then bringing the Grey Cup in the next week. It's, wow. it's that big, mm -hmm. 5,000 athletes, uh, economic impact of between 150 and $165 million, uh, lots of new jobs. Um, Fantastic. Really, really a big deal for the city. And what's great is it has to be in Ontario, yes. so we're already halfway there. Mm -hmm. And you've only got a few people that you need to... Worry muscle about. out. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a competitive bidding process. <laughs> yeah. So we're bidding, uh, it, it is Ontario's turn. So mm -hmm. every 40 years, Ontario gets yeah. to host the summer games. So it's our turn. Yep. We, we, we better get this one right because mm -hmm. it will be 40 years before it comes back. But we're bidding against mm -hmm. Niagara, uh, Sudbury, and then the joint bid from Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge, and Guelph. Yeah. Right. So yeah. four, four, Too much four traveling groups. there. Ottawa, we've yeah. already got it yeah. done. Exactly. So let's we've got the infrastructure, yeah. really. Mm -hmm. We could just keep talking about this. But what's, what it, what's the process, though? Like, obviously, it's yeah. a public... Uh, public consultation too, right? Right. So we, the public does have a role to play. So we're asking the public to go online at uh, Ottawa2021.ca, and what we're asking them to do now is just sign up their support to say, hey, this would be great for Ottawa, just to yeah. show they have an interest in in seeing the games come to our community. And the process now is we submit a formal bid at the end of January. January 31st goes to the Canada Games Council. They'll be here in Ottawa for a, a visit to kind of see the enthusiasm of the community. Uh, the first week of March, and then they'll make a decision in March of this year. Wow. So sometime in the next uh, couple of months, we'll find out if oh we've been gosh. successful, and then four years so to we, get ready. We yeah. have to talk about this, and, and the beginning of March, when the when the committee is here, make sure everybody, you've washed your faces, put on your best clothes, be out there. Get being your signs. Well, get, yes. Exactly. Well, be let's cheerful. get back to the sense because yeah. there is some exciting stuff so happening in the first week of March. Kind of couple of months. Yes, it's been, a, it's been a good start to our season, and now we're into 2017, so... Mm -hmm. You know, we've, uh, we're, we're celebrating 25 years of Senators in the community, yeah. Senators Hockey here in Ottawa. Yeah, yeah. big, big cheer there. And uh, we decided to celebrate it in the calendar year uh, because we're marrying it mm. up with the Canada's 150th, the NHL's also, it's their 100th anniversary this year. Fantastic. And the Stanley Cup's 125th, and all those celebrations are taking place in the calendar 2017, so only made sense for us to do the same. So that means from a hockey season, we're celebrating at the at back end of this season, so from January yep. to April, and then next year again from September until December, we'll have a lot of different uh, celebrations going on around the cl hockey club. So, so are we tying that into the outdoor game? Because there's always so much talk about that, whether or not it's on or off. Yeah, we have a bunch of different uh, major events already planned and confirmed, and the outdoor game is, n is not yet firm. It's one of the, it is under discussion, and there's a lot of, I think, goodwill going on now between the, the parties to try to make something happen. Of course, we're involved, the, mm -hmm. the league's involved, uh, we've got to find a place to play, so we're talking to, uh, to the folks at Lansdowne Park. Uh, so a lot of good, I think, positive discussions going on, and hopefully something will get done there that we'll see an outdoor game in Ottawa in December of 2017. That would be our hope. Yeah. So well, let's talk about the great things that are coming on, because sure. you were just saying the beginning of March, hopefully when the committee's in here seeing what's going on, what, what, do you, what have you got planned? Well, from the hockey club perspective, uh, you know, it, it, this year now, between January and April, we've got a number of different promotions going mm -hmm. on. Uh, we have our you know, bobbleheads we're doing. So we've, we're doing our largest bobblehead promotion ever, 25 bobbleheads. Wow. Present and past players, uh, eight in, uh, excuse me, seven this year and 18 next year. You've done one already. We're doing another one on Saturday, tomorrow night. Uh, we play the Leafs in town, so it'll be uh, Ron Tugnut bobblehead night. So awesome. first 2,500 fans will get a, get a Tugger bobblehead uh, at the game. It's uh, already sold out, though. Is it sold? Yeah, the game, yeah. Well, there's still a few tickets left, okay, but uh, it's over 19,000, so we're wow. past capacity. We're yeah. selling standing room and extra tickets here and there, So, uh, but it's going to be the big, biggest crowd. Those are always great games. The energy in, it, it's just crazy. There'll be, a, there'll be a few Leaf fans there, but it's, it's, uh, 
it, it, it that is not a, it'll be a great day. You know, it will be. It's, it's always good energy in the building, as you said, Julie, and it's a, a lot of, I think from the fans' perspective, uh, more enjoyable because there's lots of enthusiasm, mm -hmm. a lot of cheering. Uh, uh, the Go Leafs Go channel start, and then we'll try to drown them out, and uh, it's, yeah. it's fun. So. Yeah. And yeah, during the year, we've got uh, the Stanley Cup celebration in March, so the league is coming to town to celebrate the 125th anniversary of the Cup. It was yes. bequeathed in Ottawa wow. in March of 1892, so wow. they're doing 125 years to the day doing a celebration, and we're going we're gonna to break ground on a new monument in downtown Ottawa Ooh. that's going to be built to the Stanley Cup. And wow. so we're going to break ground in March, and it'll be ready in December of 2017. So where is that going to be? It's going to be at the corner of Sparks and Elgin, right across the street from where the Russell Hotel used to be. Yeah. And it was in the Russell Hotel that the emissary from the Governor General made the proclamation that he's going to donate a cup. a cup to which the, was a lot smaller back then it was it was Wasn't they called the rose tall. bowl back then it yeah. was a bowl mm -hmm. and um, but it was a, a pretty important uh, initiative and now is the most significant uh, iconic uh, trophy in all of sports so uh, i think it's great for our city to yeah. have a have a, an homage or a tribute to the stanley cup i just love how ottawa 150 is well, Canada 150 is all kind of, everything filters back to Ottawa, and it's, you know, really creating so much joy in the city. Yeah, it's going to be a big year, not only for the Senators, mm -hmm. but for the entire community. There's yep. a lot of great things going on. We're, of course, we're going to have the Grey Cup here. We also have the Roar of the Rings, which is the largest curling event that Canada has. Yes. It's the men and the women both competing uh, in uh, November, uh, December next year. The winners go to the Olympics, so it's a pretty big yeah. deal. That'll be here. Crazy. We have the Junos we have coming a lot in of April. Curling fans and oh, yeah. Junos. Junos yeah. here in April will be big from yeah. the music perspective. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're definitely going to need to have you come back on yes. and, uh, and give us more will, updates. Yeah, and we will follow. So everybody, Happy to do that. yeah, in the community, make sure you are signing in and voting for the 2021 games. And don't go away. We've got a lot more on daytime.